The transformer language model started to transform the AI industry, but it had one main problem that can make it go extinct even before it blasts off in 2024. Let's unwrap this. The amount of compute power we can put into the system, the scientific ideas about how to make it more efficient and smarter. If you've been following language models and generative AI for a while, you know that the transformer language model, which was introduced in 2017, has started to dominate the generative AI industry because of its superman ability to understand context and give relevant responses, to say the least. Many chatbots and other generative AI tools have decided to use transformer-based models as the backbone of their tools. But just as it was going to claim the throne, a very serious competitor, Mamba, was proposed in a published article, Mamba Linear Time Sequence Modeling with Selective State Spaces. I have made a super simplified explanation of Mamba architecture in the previous video, so if you have not watched it, make sure to do so before we jump into more details about the two models' design and performance differences. As the main job of any language model is to best predict the next word in a word sequence, the main challenge for any LLM is to keep track of the context to be able to select the most relevant word and at the same time to do this fast with fewer steps and not to be processor intensive. To understand what the main problem with the transformers was that made these two guys design a new model, let's first recap the two models' overall architecture briefly. In the simplified transformers video, I explained that this model has a two-stage design consisting of an encoder and a decoder unit, each with multiple layers. The encoder's job is essentially to positionally encode the input words from a word sequence. The decoder unit inherits these word embeddings and in a three-stage process predicts the next word in a word sequence using the attention mechanism. For a more detailed explanation of this design, make sure to check out this simplified video as well. The hallmark of this transformer model is the attention mechanism, that we get into it soon with more details. But for now, remember that transformers keep track of every single word in relation to all words in the context, hence great contextual understanding. In the simplified video about the Mambo language model also, I explained that instead of the encoder-decoder units in transformers, Mambo combines the traditional state space model known as H3 with a multi-layer perceptron design to add selectivity to the state space design using four parameters which are dependent on the input words. But now the interesting part, if transformer models were so good at keeping the context and relevance, why do we need Mamba then? The most challenging task for sequence modeling architectures is to find an efficient way to compress very long word sequences into a compact unit without losing sight of the relevance in the context. Former models based on recurrent neural networks can overcome this challenge by efficiently squeezing long contextual information into a state but they can lose sight of the relevant information necessary for prediction because each finite block of compressed data may retain fewer relevant parts, for example, fewer words relevant to the prediction of the next word. Even though transformers can overcome this challenge by retaining all the available context, they become processor intensive and lose efficiency. They cannot efficiently handle very long sequences of data because every token, for example every word, has to take into account every other token or word in that sequence, which slows down the inference. This is mainly due to the self-attention mechanism's quadratic memory complexity, which means for any n added token to the sequence, it needs n to the power 2 additional memory. It is also argued that the other downside to retaining all the contextual information is that it has a marginal impact on the sequence length scaling and accuracy of prediction compared to the selective mechanism in Mamba. Even though the two models use completely different architectures, the main differences between the transformer and Mamba language models lie in the differences between the attention mechanism in transformers and the selection mechanism in Mamba. Here's the cool part. Unlike transformers heavily reliant on the attention mechanism which takes all the context into account, Mamba doesn't look at all the data at once. It's very selective, 
It focuses on the most important parts of the data for predicting what comes next. Think of it as zooming in on specific details in the puzzle pieces instead of looking at everything at once, owing to this selective state space model which acts as a detective with a magnifying glass. This selective focus not only reduces the computational burden, but also avoids performance degradation with increasing sequence lengths, a significant hurdle for attention-based models. In other words, MAMBA combines the selective mechanism with the compressibility of the recurrent models. This selection mechanism essentially replaces the attention mechanism in the transformer-based models. Unlike transformers which exhibit performance decline with longer sequences, MAMBA's performance remains consistent regardless of sequence lengths, owing to the linear scaling advantage because it does not need a cache of previous elements. The MAMBA's architecture only requires remembering the last hidden state before updating the next token. Compared to the traditional LSTM and RNN models which use nonlinear functions, MAMBA uses a linear activation function between each hidden state which helps with backpropagation steps. An activation function is responsible for whether a neuron's input should be activated or not, for example whether that input information is important for predicting the next word in the sequence. MAMBA's architecture with hardware-aware algorithm also allows parallel scan, which means faster forward calculations compared to stepwise calculations in traditional RNN and LSTMs. Not only does MAMBA need smaller training data compared to transformer models, but also MAMBA's selective processing translates to significantly faster predictions compared to attention-based models. These two advantages may greatly benefit real-time applications such as language translation and text generation. MAMBA's model designers also claim that MAMBA significantly improves synthetic tasks such as selective copying tasks, in which the position of input tokens for memorization can vary in the copying process. As you can see in their published figure, it can memorize the relevant tokens depicted by colored boxes and ignore the irrelevant words or tokens depicted by white boxes. For example, based on its selective approach as which word in a word sequence can better help the mother predict the next word. The induction heads task is another example of synthetic tasks that is explained in Olson et al. 2022 and is responsible for associative recall. This blue box in the figure also shows how the model uses context-based reasoning to select the word as the best predicted next word in the sequence. This performance summary shows MAMBA has achieved state-of-the-art results in language modeling tasks, matching or surpassing transformers in accuracy even with less training data. This said, it is yet to be confirmed whether the variations of the attention mechanism in the transformer design, such as longformer and linformer models, as well as reformer, transformer XL, sparse transformer, and even big bird models can overcome inefficiencies of the base transformer model significantly enough that doesn't take transformers completely out of the picture, or will 2024 belong to Mamba? Transformer is much more than just the attention component. Things are about to get interesting, so let me know your thoughts on these in the comments section.